three, two, one. Welcome to our series on the Great Western Railway. Uh, the railway was built in 1895. It has lots of bridges, most of it is still. got to wonder, did the bridge builders of the time really realise what they were getting themselves in for? There's a staggering 14 bridges between the point in Newport towards the point in Mulrani. This bridge is probably the most biggest of them all and as you can see it has no less than eight arches. That would have been a feat in, of engineering in the late 19th century. Of course now unfortunately we don't hear the bell ring any more of the train. Uh, the only bells you're going to hear, the only bells you're going to hear around the great, the, the route of the Great Western Railway is that of bicycles. I just want you to take yourself back and I want you to imagine you were one of the first people from Ackle to travel in a train in the 18th century under one of these bridges. Welcome to the sleepy town of Newport. One can only imagine what a kerfuffle uh, the railway caused when it arrived here in 1894. And unfortunately it was short-lived as 42 years later the light railway closed due to a lack of um, passengers on the line. But here today in Newport, one can see a, um, a, a remnant of the railway. There's an art installation by local artists. And if you can see, it's actually the smoke of um, what used to be the Great Western Railway, echoing the past of this town. The bell finally tolled for this railway in 1932. Ireland was a very different place than the place of 42 years ago when it started. But I think one must consider the darker side to this railway. One must think about why Ireland needed to build a light railway when most of its, uh, most of its population had suffered the ravages of death and emigration. Who was this railway for ultimately? Was it for the landed gentry to get goods around? Was it for the contractors who built this, <laughs> built this railway?